Hello, my catty. Hello, world. This is Attorney Angel, and I'm your legal angel. Hi, my fellow angels. I hope that you are all staying healthy, safe, and well, and that you're not forgetting to pray. Thank you very much. We are now 760 subscribers and counting. We're near 800 and soon 1,000. Um, please spread the word, like, subscribe, share, and follow so we will be able to reach out to more people, educate more people, not just law students, but as well as our Kababayans all over the world. And um, for this vlog, I will share with you a quick discussion on uh, general principles of statutory construction. Actually, I gave you an exercise to um, my students ko, and um, let's discuss quickly um, the Q&A or the answers to the questions that I gave them. Alright? Watch this and I hope you learn something from it. Okay, so let's start. So, my um, questions to them include um, questions regarding the general principles, construction of statutes as a whole, the presumption of justice, um, construction consistent with the Constitution, construction to give effect to the statute, general versus specific statutes, the pari materia rule, um, Reenacted and adopted statutes, common law versus statutory provision, and implied repeals, which are not legally presumed. Okay. So my first question was, what are the general principles of statutory construction? So aside from verbal edges and racial legis, okay, I listed down um, eleven, I think, but um. I'm sure marami pang iba, pero dito, sinama ko lang po itong mga ito na coverage or scope of um, the exercise. Okay, so, statutes must be read and construed as a whole. Legislative intent must be ascertained from the statute as a whole. Courts have a duty to reconcile or harmonize the different provisions thereof. As a rule, the statute of later date prevails. Then, generalis specialibus non derogant, which was included in my Latin maxim some vlog. Um, special law prevails over a general law, and then take note of the exceptions to the rule, of course. Uh, the pari materia rule, another um, one that is included in my Latin maxims vlog. Um, then we have, in interpreting reenacted statutes, the court will follow the construction which such statute received when previously informed. I'm Malian. When previously in effect. Okay, sorry about that. Um, and then we have in the case of an adopted statute, the interpretation of the courts of the state with from which it is adopted should be considered. And then in case of conflict between a common law principle and a statutory provision, the latter prevails. And then Implied repeals are not legally presumed in the absence of a clear and unmistakable showing of such intention. Okay, so the next one is uh, why is it um, that we have to construe or construct the laws as a whole? Okay, because um, to study the words, phrases, and clauses um, that should be in harmony with each other, we look at it as one whole and not... Um, this uh, junk parts um, separate from each other. And um, sabi nga, to study the words, phrases, and clauses, not in isolation, but in the light of other cognate provisions of the statute, in order to give effect to the legislative intent. Okay. Now, the next question was about uh, the legal basis of the presumption of justice. Okay, and we can find that in Article 10 of the New Civil Code of the Philippines, which um, provides in part that in case of doubt in the interpretation of laws, it is presumed that the lawmaking body intended right and justice to prevail. Okay, and then of course we have the question regarding why statute should be construed, construed okay, in harmony with the Constitution. Okay. Because, of course, we know that in the hierarchy of laws, 
the Constitution occupies the highest position. Therefore, all other laws, the statutes, the ordinances, executive orders, proclamations, uh, the rules and regulations must bow before the Constitution and must be in harmony with the Constitution, must not violate the Constitu Constitution. All reasonable doubts should be resolved in favor of the constitutionality of a statute. So may presumption na constitutional siya unless uh, it is struck down as unconstitutional. Okay. Now, uh, another one is on a question about construction to render statutes effective. Okay. Why? Why do we need to constitute, render the statute effective? Because we have to give effect to to the legislative intent, okay, um, to reflect the intention of the legislature and avoid hodgepodge of conflicting provisions. You know, take uh, note of the word hodgepodge, okay. Um, iniiwasan din natin, as we said before, um, yung hodgepodge in order not to create um, ambiguity, okay, conflict, and the um, doubleness of meaning, etc. Okay. There's also a question about which will prevail between specific and general statutes. So the general rule is that in case of conflict, the specific statute prevails because it is the expression of legislative intent on the more specific matter. Um, but also, as I said earlier at the beginning, take note of the exceptions. Okay, So um, the general statutes will prevail. This is the exception to the general rule when okay the intent to repeal is manifest manifest and very very obvious sometimes um nasa mukha mo na, okay in other words almost categorical na yan, okay when the general also when the general statute treats the subject in particular and then the specific refers to it as general so yun when kabaliktad sila di ba then the legislature intended the general enactment to cover the whole subject and to repeal prior laws inconsistent therewith. Okay, so usually you will see that in the repealing laws, etc., a mandatory clause, etc. Okay. Then we have um, a question on what is the pari material rule. Um, as I said, it is already included in my Latin Maxims blog, but um, for our purposes, um, for the purpose of the exercise, okay, pari materia rule is a doctrine of statutory interpretation which states that laws of the same subject matter and um, matter must be construed with reference to each other. Okay, of the same subject matter, sabi yan, e pari materia. Okay. The principal intent of this doctrine is to promote predictability and uniformity of the law. Okay. I also asked about the rule on reenacted statutes. Okay, so in interpreting reenacted statutes, the court will follow the construction which such, which such statutes received when it was previously in effect or when it was previ previously enforced. Okay, or previously enforced. Okay, so kung ano yung um, construction sa kanya nung siya ay... Um, uh, enforce pa, nung nyo din aksya, ganun pa rin yung construction na ipapal. Then as to the rule on interpreting adopted statutes, okay, referring to statutes from um, other jurisdictions, our courts will necessarily be guided by the interpretation and construction of the courts of the country from which such statute is taken. Pero, may follow-up question ako dito, conclusive ba yun? Um, hindi siya conclusive, okay? It will serve as a guide. It is, um, it is not, it is, it will serve as a guide, okay? And, um, it is persuasive, um, but not conclusive, okay? Because we also have to take, um, certain, um, matters or certain circumstances into consideration in our jurisdiction. All right. Then, um, a question about uh, which will prevail between common law and statutory provision, of course. We are a civil law country, therefore, statutory provision will prevail. Okay, so between common law principle and a statutory provision, the statutory provision prevails. Okay, while common law is by far and wide based on judgment made in the past, statutory laws 
have statutes as their basis. Okay, sabi ko nga, doon tayo sa statutory provision because ano ng nature ng law dito sa batas. Sa nature ng batas or law ng Pilipinas. Hindi naman tayo kung mga law country. Okay. Now, as um, to the last question, I think this is the last question on the exercise about um, implied repeals. So, implied repeals are not legally presumed. Bakit siya hindi? Um, why are implied repeals not legally presumed? Okay. Because the legislature is presumed to know the existing laws on the subject and not to have enacted inconsistent, inconsistent or conflicting statutes. Okay. And sabi ko nga sa mga students ko, implied repeals are not favored or are, these are frowned upon. <laughs> um, it will not be decreed unless it is manifest that the legislature so intended. As laws are presumed to be passed with deliberation with full knowledge of all existing ones on the subject, it is but reasonable to conclude that in the passing of a statute, it was not intended to interfere with or abrogate any former law relating to some matter, unless the repugnancy between the two is not only irreconcilable, but also clear and convincing and flowing necessarily from the language used unless the later act fully embraces the subject matter of the earlier, or unless the reason for the earlier act is beyond peradventure renewed. Okay, hindi, sabi ko nga, um, sasabihin naman sa batas yan eh, categorical. That's why we have the amendatory appealing clause, for is the latter part of the body of a statute. That's already a signal to you. Okay. So that's it for this quick discussion on the exercise that I gave them on the, the general principles, some of the general principles on statutory construction. Okay, and um, the sources are from um, um, the books of um, Attorney Pilares, Attorney Suarez, Attorney Agpalo on statutory construction. And if you need to further research, you can look into some more authors on the subject matter. Okay, so that's it for this um, vlog. I hope you learned something. Be kind. Be a blessing to others. And always remember to glorify God with a grateful heart. This is Attorney Angel and I'm your legal angel.